happening. Recording. Oh my god. Huh. Hi. Um, hi uh, again. Welcome back. Welcome back so to we had Q&A. To, oh, wait, with the hot the, what Oh, is sorry. The, what what the the hell is our podcast? Welcome <laughs> back to the Hot Mess Express podcast with Sasha. And right. I know I swallowed that word. I'm you sorry. You, Nate. you chewed it. And eight. I did you chew chewed it. it. I chewed yeah. on it. Maybe just spat uh, it out. This is part two. Yeah, because we left on a cliffhanger. To the Q and A series. It's not a series, but kind of it is actually. I mean, if there's more than one, a... isn't it a series, or is it just a sequel? A duet. <laughs> mm. Yep. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all had some really great. Qu- the Q and A has already started. <laughs> wait, I know. <laughs> and we did not know how to answer that first question. No, we did not. Um. Yeah, you had some what? great questions. Oh, yeah. Great, great. Now you great got me on it. God damn it. Questions. Great. <laughs> Ow. I just you hit my your- tooth with the microphone. Hot mess already off to a good start. Um, uh, What was the other thing? Uh, uh, we're just starting 2.0. Oh, sure. Thanks for um, joining today. And you know what I mean? Like, thanks for your love and support. And like, I don't know what's happening. Let's um, just get into <laughs> it. You highlighted more questions, didn't you? Yes. Okay, let's get into okay. it. Um, What's the favorite gift you have given each other? That's hard. Favorite one that I've given you or that you, so, you've or given me? Um, one of my favorite gifts is that Wally mug, just because I do remember that you so You brought vividly. me to tears. Remember? Yeah. I just you? remember you in London seeing the evil one and wanting the Wally one so badly, but it had already been discontinued. And then I found it on Amazon seven years later. I'm going to show them right now. They need to know. It's so cute. He brought me to tears with this gift. It's so cute. Can you see it? So it's this Wally mug. And just the thought behind it, like the fact that he kept searching for it for so many years, like I opened it and literally, maybe not burst into tears, but like you had I, was, a moment. I was overcome because that was so thoughtful. My and that means so much to me. Favorite one that I got from you was that that hand sewn map that you did out oh, of our London trip. Oh my god! Because it was handmade, first of all. Yeah. Craftsy. Craftsy. Which was, it was, it was one of your earliest like, like it was so cool. It was just so unique, and I'm a, I I love unique things. I love the individualizing of it. I thought it was really good, and it was really meaningful. It was something that we shared. Yeah. So that was really cool. Yeah, and my I little hands that. like wove it together. Your turn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that you have given and received. Oh. I don't know. Um. I don't remember a single fucking thing. What did I do? <laughs> I'm just thinking of the gifts that you gave me. That one, I, that one I love. That's the chaos one with the, all the fixtures and stuff. Oh yeah. I don't know what I've done. That was a good one. I know. I know there was like one something. There ah! was that book that you gave me that was like individualized. Yeah, color. Really the besties like one or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that was cute. Yeah. Um. What else we got? I don't know. <laughs> What's both y'all's favorite show? Oh, Shit's Creek. Yeah, you Modern Shits Family. Creek. My favorite show is. Right now, it's Abbott Elementary. <gasps> I need to catch up on those episodes. Yeah, do. Don't tell me a thing. I okay. love that show. You got okay. me hooked on that show. I actually, for some reason, stopped halfway through the most recent episode, so there's that. Okay. Like, I need to finish watching it. I That happens to me, too, with that yeah. show sometimes. I watched 10 minutes of the show. I and had 10 I minutes left. Yeah, and I was something. like, I gotta go to bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, I'm done. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 That's a great introduction. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, if each of you went to prison, what does the other person think you went down for? If you went to prison, I would assume that someone was like trying to hurt a kid and you went AWOL. You went you went ape shit. I think that's a reasonable assumption. I feel assumption. like that's literally the only time it's like a child getting hurt. It's the only time you would like activate into some kind of yeah. like something or other some that would of get like you sent to prison. Mode or yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Now me. Like, if someone looked at me wrong. I was going to say. <laughs> if someone looked at you wrong. Yeah. Yeah. If someone yeah. spoke too loudly. I mean. <laughs> if someone chewed with their mouth open. If someone stayed in the green light for too long. <laughs> Or in your case, stayed at the red light for too long. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, There's a few too many scenarios where I'd be going to prison. Your neighbor disappeared. Your like. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> but oh. I would be, I would be correct. You would be. I would be correct. Even though you're a little less slower to wrath than I am. <laughs> less slower to yes. wrath. Yes. Yes. That was a fun sentence. Right. It's also a scriptural one too. Is so it? hashtag Jesus. Yeah, fuck Jesus. Slow to wrath. Um, fuck Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to the Christians that listen. I'm just Has kidding. Hasadiga Ibo Wai. All right, go um, on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here's a deep one. Oh God, for both of us. Yeah. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? I actually really like this question. What is your ultimate goal, Naomi? This is a fucking fabulous question from TikTok, and she's from Holland. Very cool. Where do you see yourself in If five we're talking years? geographically, easily I can see myself here. Okay. Still. Love that. I love that Because this layout. is like my haven. Great. Like, Utah's home. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Professionally, I have no clue. You don't you don't you don't think you'd maybe I could easily see myself s- still, still in teaching. teaching. Yeah. I could also easily see my so I don't know. Like I'm branching out into a couple more hobbies that I didn't know I enjoy. Yes. So I could. Do you want to tell them what they are? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. That's a different level of vulnerability that I gotta. Oh my uh, god. Okay. But um, like if I ever tried to expand on that, maybe something yeah. else. But I don't know. What about you? What about you? Where you see yourself five years professionally and then geographically? Okay. In five years, because for the last fucking five years, I've always wanted to move out of Utah. Yeah. Um. Like I'm, I feel like I found a place, you know, where I yeah. currently live, and like I have communities certainly that I'm blessed to have. But I think just the overarching. They're blessed to have you well, too. Thank you. Just, That's I'm so dead nice serious. Thing. Like your yoga studio, everybody, every branch of it, every pool that you have your foot in is very lucky to have you. Oh. And if they don't realize that, then they need to leave. Thanks. Anyway, go on. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd probably not live in Utah. Okay. Um, Does that mean that I'm moving out of Utah as well? Basically, yeah. Okay. So we've got we've got five years. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so keep working on my hobbies. Where are we going? <laughs> probably California. Okay. Any specific I don't know where. Place? I've looked at maybe. I have some things pulled up on my phone, but like a okay. specific area of like Southern California. Okay. Um, it's just a place that I think it's called Rosewood. Okay. It was just the time that me and Annalise, she went, or she and I w- drove down there, and it's it was called Rose something, California. We rolled the windows down as we're driving around the city, and it smelled of roses. And I was losing my mind. Seriously? That it genuinely smelled. Like legit? Legitimately smelled of roses. And Weird. it has stuck with me ever. That was 15 years ago. Like, that was so long ago. Crazy. But I still remember, like, the fact that it was Rose something California. And it smelled like that. And I was like, I would live here. Like, what? And just California in general is like, it's it has a special place in my soul. Um, but I could see myself in the East Coast. I could see myself in fucking the Pacific Northwest. Like, just... It had to be it had to be more liberal than where I'm living now in Utah. Um, yeah, just overarching. For, I think for my happiness and sanity. Um, yeah. So that's geographically. I could see you. I could see. I mean, and that goes perfectly in line with like the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Just having access to it. Yeah. Like, the way everyone here in Utah runs to the mountains. Yeah. To do stuff, yeah. I would run to the beach daily. I would have a pack in my car just in case anytime I wanted to go to the beach, I could just sit on something or whatever. Like, I would be... Would you ever get in the water? Do you get in the water at the beach? I would. Okay. If it wasn't ridiculously cold. Like, okay. I don't know if I'd ever dunk dunk. Like, okay. Unless that, that was the plan of, like, kind of a colder plunge, perhaps. But maybe ankles and things. Like, definitely feet always. But I don't know if I'd, like... There's a scenario where I absolutely would. Yeah. Yeah. Like the salt water. Like what about professionally? Professionally in five what years. Would you that's do? a fucking good question. I think in five years professionally, I would like to be more broadened in like this spiritual stuff that I'm exploring okay. right now. Like Reiki, sound, maybe still yoga. Do you want to be a shamaness? Right now, no. Okay. But if that ends up being a path that I'm called to or whatever, like I can certainly hold space. 
Does it weird you out if some people already consider you kind of their like informally consider you their shamaness? Yeah, not not in like a hardcore freaks me out way, but it's like okay. But what have I done? Like oh, con- so much, Sasha. Well, don't ever fucking ask that question. Like the shit that you. Okay, all right. Literally, your opening monologue to every fucking yoga class is relatable to, if not the entire class, at least one person. Yeah. In a way, like, I tell you all the time about the people that I hear on the mats next to me. Oh, like, yeah. Verbally or audibly, I guess, uh, react to the things that you say. Mm-hmm. Or even sometimes physically. Like, the girl next to me one time that just burst into tears when you were talking about... Um, Tucker was it yes Tucker? Yeah. yes your your puppy yeah and just and then the, when I saw her come up to you afterwards mm. and like thank you for this like mm. it, you, mm. that's a really good question. you reach people well thanks you reach people and I'm excited to see where you go with this spirituality yeah. maybe I should keep that Journey. open that's a really good I love other people's perspectives on like where they could see me because sometimes I just I can only see one dimension really of my sure. existence sure and Sometimes hearing or even just like that casual, like, oh, just shaman ass, like, that might have just cracked something wide open in my head of like what could be yeah. in my future, maybe. Yeah. Really cool. What else about five? Oh, the, the second part of the question was oh, <coughs> personal. <coughs> so, personally, five years from now, I would definitely be like deep into my relationship with my partner. There might be kids. Okay. If that was something that we decided on. Um, and it made sense for both of us. Like that could probably definitely be in my future. Okay. Um, but it really depends on my person. Like, sure. There's no. I I have such a hard time. For me, not so much other people saying it because I realize that it's just like a society thing. But for me, it feels so weird to say, "Yeah, I'm gonna have kids," when I haven't even dated someone worthy of my kids. Yeah. Like someone good enough for my fucking babies. Yeah. <laughs> like. Right. Let me, let me find the right person first. And we go from there. Sure. Yeah, so that, yeah. But I, I would imagine if, if we're a good partnership and I would have the support I need to be the best version of myself, probably, yeah. Hmm. Second part, what is your ultimate goal? Damn. Damn. For me, I'll go first because I think that one's a little bit more maybe at the top for me. Yeah. Um... My ultimate goal has been freedom. Like, that word, just like, it, my soul. I needed freedom. There's a lot of veins to that word for yeah. you, too. Yeah, a lot. Like, I needed freedom from corporate business. Like, I needed cor- I needed freedom in career. I needed freedom in, like, in healing. Like, freedom from the bullshit of the past. I needed yeah. freedom, like, in my existence and how I live my life. Like, Yeah. I kind of just need freedom in general. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have a lot of it now. Like, I I, my, I am free. I am free to do what I want when I need to do it. Um, so maybe I have the ultimate goal. I don't know. But my, yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. What about you? The biggest thing that's coming to my mind right now is my ultimate goal is knowing or being able to figure out and then know what it is that I want. Because like, wow. we've had that conversation yeah. before, like want was a very selfish act in my upbringing. It yeah. was very, you know, very much not a thing. Yeah. I was also very conditioned as most people are people by their, be, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also very conditioned to um, strive toward a specific thing, like especially in the religious upbringing and all that mm. jazz and the factor and stuff. Yeah. And so my, judgment or my desires have been highly clouded like and dictated by others yes yeah so trying to figure out what it is that i want rather than what someone moving else told toward, you what yes want. yeah and that's been like a thing for you in general is kind of like yeah. knowing like is the word intuition like you sure are exploring or learning about and listening to your intuition, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Which would tie into your wants. Or like, just instincts. Yeah. Because really. you've been so been good at instincts. And I remember calling you one time. I was like, Sasha, I think I had an instinct. Can you tell me if this yes. is it? Because I'm always about feeling. Like, I'm a heart type. So I'm yeah. all about emoting. But 
But like that instinctive guttural. Like, yes. That's never like been reaction. a part of my reaction yeah. re- reaction process. Yeah. So yeah, that's the th- I don't know that kind of and that's so broad and ambiguous as well. But that's kind of what's coming to my mind as well. That is what a question. Who the fuck asked that? That was that was oh, a while shit, down. It's all the way at the bottom. That, yeah, that was someone from TikTok. Th- that was um Naomi, Naomi Morris Morris. Thank from you, Holland. Naomi. That was uh, from Holland. Holland, Naomi. That was fucking fabulous question, babes. Damn. Damn is right. Let me wow. see. Picking at random. Okay. Um. Oh, do y'all plan on getting more tattoos? I would love to. Yeah. I always want another tattoo. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what the next one is? I think I would do something Egyptian. Okay. Something Egyptian inspired. And where? I don't know where. I have no clue okay. on the where. I think it would be a smaller, like maybe just a little something, like, um. Like an Egyptian symbol? Or are we talking like Sanskrit? Like um, I was thinking a symbol, but now I okay. love the idea of like a Sanskrit something or other. Okay. Like a script of some kind. Mm-hmm. Something. I have a list, actually. Let me look at my list here real quick. I want to get a side of the head tattoo. <gasps> like I want to shave That's the left right. side of my head and get like a... <laughs> as I try to cross the... <laughs> you got your little hair like band a, in the way? Uh, sunflower petals extending from oh, my ear. Oh, bitch. If we don't get that next week, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want to know what a tattoo I do want? I want nipple ornaments. Really? Yeah, if I can do. That Pictures painful as fuck. Although those look cool. Except for like on the outside. It still I wouldn't totally. be painful? Like, that's a sense of Might be a little bit. Might thinking. be a little bit painful, but it'd be Ooh, so pretty. Okay. I want those. What else do I have written down? Oh, a tea for my dog, Tucker. Who passed mm. away in September? That, oh, like a really. Would just, you ever like tattoo Tucker? Anywhere? I I don't want like a portrait of him. Okay. I would maybe do like his paw. Okay. Um, or even just like a, a good sized T somewhere for my baby that boy. That would be pretty. Yeah. Mm, Tucker the dog. Sure. And I just put something Egyptian question mark. Yeah. Okay. And um, That's got awesome. that one, but on my elbow. That's yeah. pretty. Yeah. So I'm always down for a new tattoo, big, small. She got me into him. Yeah, he's got two now. Three. One. Oh, that's right. One, two and, and then three. Yeah, three. yeah, yeah, yeah. My name. Damn, we love tattoos. Yeah. Would we ever do a matching tattoo? That was the second part of the question. I don't we know. Wouldn't. I'm not about that life. We're not doing matching no. tattoos. That's not. And not even with anybody. Like. Yeah. We don't the only time, okay, my siblings and I did all discuss something? getting something. Okay. And that's the only time that I've considered it. Like, we thought about getting a seven-pointed star just for the number of us. Okay. Type thing. That'd like, be cute. Yeah. What? This is a fucking good question. Oh, shit. Tell us some annoying habits that you'd pick, that you've picked up from your parents or relatives. Wait, I can go first. Um, so Damn. sometimes not reaching out, like, Ooh. like knowing full well that it's within my capacity to be like, well, I could just reach out first and like invite them to do something or whatever. And like knowingly sitting in like the, well, I'm not going to do that. And that's something that you picked up from your family member. Like you have other family mm-hmm. members that do the same thing. Yes. Wow. What about you? Mine, I've got a couple eating habits for one. Okay, from your relatives? unhealthy eating habits oh, okay. from family members, ha- uh, relatives, yeah, that type of thing. Body image habits. Um, ooh, ah, and I'm working really hard on it. Okay, jumping to conclusions without having sometimes even any facts. <gasps> oh, and lots of times it's it's passing judgment oh, on people. I hate that. No. I hate that, yeah. and I have to fight that instinctually Ooh, so hard. Oh yeah, because that one's yeah. Yeah, that one's rough. Oh yeah, that one's rough. What was your worst subject in school? Um, school. I was homeschooled. Yeah, you were homeschooled, so like everything. Um, <laughs> worst subject. I wasn't good at science. Same. I was going to Th- say science. I struggled with science. I sucked at science. It doesn't Which make sense in my brain. sucks because I loved it. Like, I'm a super kinesthetic learner, so, like, all the, the oh, okay. manipulative and stuff, but yeah. I sucked shit. I just didn't bad. make sense. I was like, I don't, ca- I don't get it. I don't care. Like, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. 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 Science for sure. Ugh. With a good teacher, I liked math. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, if a movie were made about your friendship... Who would you want to play you? I love this question. Who would play you? Who would play me? Um, People tell me all the time, Ch- James Gordon. You Corbin? Think? Gordon? Cor- Ch- James Gordon? 
Corden. 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 Din? I don't know his name. James Corden. Is that his name? Oh, we got <laughs> we got a song? song. Yeah, C O R D E N. Oh, okay. Corden. Yeah. People tell me that. Also, when I was skinnier, people told me I looked like Matt Damon. So maybe him. Who would I be played by? Meryl Streep. She could play you in a heartbeat. The honor she could of play my me life. playing you. <laughs> Show me now. Yeah. If Meryl Streep plays me, we're yeah. good to go. Oh, hell. Um, that We've been be talking amazing. for almost an hour. Have we really? <laughs> Long ass podcast episode. Are Whoa! we going to have to divide this? No, I think. My God. I mean, we could, but also we could just have one big fatty Are there one. any more? I mean, yeah, like see. at this point. Do you want to look through anything? and like? Yeah, okay. let's do this. Ooh, how old are we? Tell them. Um, I turn 37 in a few days. And oh my God! You turned thirty-six. I turned twenty-nine. In October, you turned twenty-nine. I'm literally thirty-five years old. I was gonna say, yeah, you'll turn Which, thirty-six and, and in October. So that number means nothing because look at me. Right, nothing. As I'm blocking my face. Like age means, or sorry, no. Yeah, the number age doesn't time, even match whatever, what like, I am right now. So it's whatever the fuck. Why did you both decide to play piano together? That was just kind of accident. I don't can. know if we ever decided that. that it was, was like just never fun. a decision. We just like play piano yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Best memory together. I mean, playing piano duets. Playing I mean, piano travels. That, Our travels yeah. together are the memories that we often come back and talk about. <gasps> what? If you were the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? I'd pee a lot. Okay, I have thought about this a couple of times in my life. I think every woman needs to experience what it's like being kicked in the balls. Why? They have to experience that. Just like we I have feel a period every month. No, I think we no, know no. pain. Just like I feel every man oh. should experience childbirth. Let me calm down. <laughs> every man should be forced to experience childbirth, yeah. and yeah. every woman should be forced to be kicked in the balls. Just to know that it is not fun, funny, or light in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. I feel like that. I would, like that. Yeah. I yes. like it. Yes. What else we got? Um, we're still in school. Tattoos, you see yourselves in the future is a funny one. Um, ah. Dang. I know, right? Favorite piece of music we have each learned. Oh. Anything Rachmaninoff. Rachmaninoff's I was etude. literally going to say that. Were you going to say that? I was going to say I was most proud of my Rachmaninoff prelude in G minor. Yeah. But I loved my Della Joyo sonata as well. That okay. was awesome. You. Yeah. Rachmaninoff, A2 Tableau, Opus 33, number three, is my all-time favorite piece of music. My favorite, I think, that I've ever heard you play is Gershwin. Anything Gershwin. <gasps> oh, my God. Because you're so jazz. jazz inclined. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not. Ooh. That's amazing. Ooh, it's a good question. Um, do you any do Wow, that's awesome. You know, people have some good questions. I try to I highlight know. a few of them. Or screenshot a few of them. Yeah, thing, uh, Lots of Disney uh, stuff, which is I cute. I know. Um, yeah, Someone so asked something about our Disney stuff. trip. I forgot what it was, though. What hairstyles would we recommend to each other? I would love to see you with in those um, long, like, f- maybe they're called locks, faux dreads sure. almost. Okay. I would love to see that. Like, they're almost um terminology but they're almost like corn rode in and then just like as long as your braids are now but they're really small dreads yeah i saw Ooh. it on some movie i'll try to uh, okay. pull it up but it looked so pretty oh my god and i was like sasha would look stunning in those so okay you i think you're already going and doing it like fabio hair kind now, of I, granted, yeah. I think you have like stick straight hair it is so if you got like even the slightest of perms that just like I would be so You are the fifth person this week to tell me that? to get a perm. Well, baby, you, are we talking we're not talking ringlets. I'm talking giving you them big ass Ooh. like giving your hair a bend and okay. maybe what I'm envisioning is like with product and like tools sure, or something sure. like to make it really dramatic, sure. but like I'm not talking short little perm thing up here. You could though. You could. Um it could be done tastefully. Yeah. I'm thinking of the perm that the that the vice principal had in middle school and I was like, 
Her bangs are straight, and she got a perm from here, <laughs> from here to here because this part has grown up. Um, <laughs> like, of course, the perm is still. No, but I could. I would be so curious to see you with voluminous, voluptuous, ooh, Fabio length hair. Really? Yeah, I'd be so curious. Damn. To see you whip that around and like exist <laughs> I with that. I whip my hair back and forth. Yeah. Isn't that a song? I don't know. I think. I whip my hair back and forth. Yeah. It okay, is. so I'm not crazy. All right. What that's else? Good. Um, that's kind of everything. Own, yeah. <laughs> um, lots of I love yous. You guys are we love you too. I know we you love you awesome. all so much. Are you kidding? Aww. These are good. Sorry, These were really good questions, <laughs> y'all. I don't know great questions. Besides the usual, how long have you been friends? Where do you live? <laughs> We've answered them so many times. Are you guys real? Here, let me slap you and tell me if you feel pain. I don't, I'll show I, you real. I don't, try, try and slap I do me. We'll see not, how real I am. I do not have a death wish. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I was a fan of country music earlier today, too. That's one of these questions. Are you? Um, no, but it is probably one of the best storytelling genres of music that is out there. I do. I, I'm a sucker for, like I said, a Carrie Underwood song. So, yeah. like, Before He Cheats is still Before a good reve- revenge cheats. song. Um, so, yeah. Um, do we have any questions for each other? I feel I like no. My brain's... It's like... Yeah. It's... I mean, we've been talking for like an hour, we have you been, said? We've been on this podcast Are for Are you an two hour. soulmates? Remember how our Fucking episodes... Fucking duh. Yeah, duh. <laughs> have you seen what we do? Of course we are. <laughs> Love how we both get defensive We're like, about that. Yes, what the fuck is are. wrong with you? Of course we are. Platonic soulmate. Jesus, mate, soulmate. Bitch. God. Yeah. Um. Lucky as hell for you to be my life, bestie. Really? My bestie. The pleasure is mine, in the words of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> I was there this week. I know. I was too. I got them eight piece nuggets, fries, and a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> that was literally that was literally one of the employees' names as we were driving through the parking lot. She was like, "Okay, Lulu, will take your payment up there." And oh, she's shit. like, "Wait, I want to change my order." And oh, then she fuck. hangs her head out the fucking window like a dog. Lulu. Like there are 90, 97 <laughs> people in the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A, and that's what she screams. Oh, fuck. I said, Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> I need to amend my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> you bougie ass bitch. I really did hold the L's, too. I was like, Lulu. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That was really Damn. good, y'all. Great questions. Really Thank you so much for asking those. Uh, Hopefully, you have a better idea of, even more of a better idea. Of us and who we are and whatever the hell you wanted to know. Yep. Um, and by chance, if we ever do these one again, send us more questions. Yeah, that we'll do it again. We'll do it again for, for sure because <laughs> yes. I don't know because we get new subscribers all the time. So it's yeah. like, um, or followers or whatever the words are. Um, who knows? So some of y'all don't be knowing who we are because you don't scroll back some far enough to find out. y'all ain't be knowing. Out. They ain't know. They ain't know. We have a Q&A on the channel already, but <laughs> okay, we'll ask. Answer <laughs> again. Please don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter induced tuberculosis. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Jesus Christ! Superstar. That was dramatic on purpose. Jesus um, Christ! All right, superstar. <laughs> um. So I think that's us out of here, folks. <laughs> that's all. All right. Yeah. I hope the microphone you. caught that. I hope it did. Too. I sincerely hope the oh, microphone caught the shit. back of your nose getting eaten by the back of your throat. Why do you have to say AKA. that? Wait, we can't say anything normal, can we? We just have to. That, tell me what a snort is. It's the back of your nose getting swallowed. We could have just front. said a snort, but you turned it into a monologue to describe. What I did was describe what happens in the snort. <laughs> part of the inside of your face gets swallowed by the other part, and then it goes, <laughs> and then you. Anatomy with Sasha Paints. <laughs> Guess what that is? Um, a toe. A phalange. A ph- or is that your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is your, that fingers? your fingers? I think phalanges could be. I, I don't I Ooh, fucking, fucking know. No, we don't do science. No, you're we, already sending them to science. scientific hell. I'm not going to join that train. Mm-hmm. We done. And we've already established that. <laughs> um, Have a great day, y'all. Yeah. We love you more than we love our pillows. Well, yeah. I love you more well, than I love my pillow. The flat one. This and- has <laughs> been the flat one. You would have a flat one. I um, do. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is your. Because mean? you're a man. Men have flat ass pillows. That's because they're big as fuck. Who's big? Men. You big ass heads get new pillows. The fuck? 
But then those get flat too. Then you get some more. You get better quality, so they stay fluffed up. <laughs> so subscribe and save to, <laughs> to pillows. Hey, if anyone wants to pillow sponsorship us, he needs to pillows. Yes, always. Pillow yes. sponsorship Send us. Pillow that sponsorship us. That was a really us. good question. I mean, sentence. <laughs> we love you. Have a great this night. This has been <laughs> the Hot Mess Express podcast with Sasha and Nate. <laughs> um. Bye. Fire. Farewell. <laughs> Not even a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'll you see you next time. <laughs> you dumb shit. That was awesome. <laughs>